Hey guys, it's Nick aka the one only Nick James. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install the bacteria mod in Minecraft 1.8. Let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, you need to go to minecraftform.net slash form slash mapping dash and dash mod. It doesn't matter. Go to the first thing in the description down below. It'll take you to this page. And once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see this right here, this little tiny blue link. Click on that. And then we'll take you off to AdFly where we have to wait 5 seconds to these 5 seconds seven seconds. If you have any issues with AdFly, simply right click and reload. That should fix it. If it doesn't, Google how to enable cookies or whatever you have. Go through the tutorials there, come back and it should work. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do for you. AdFly is something these mod creators have to use to make a little bit of money back for all the work they put in their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip ad right here. And it will then begin the download after we go over to Dropbox, which we don't need to sign in for. We need to go over here to the Bacteria mod. Then we want to right click or click on that. Dropbox is confusing. And then we want to go to your bacteria mod for 1.8. Click on that. And then I think the download will start after we click on download. No thanks, continue downloading. Don't want a Dropbox account. Whew, that was like seven steps, but I hope you followed it there. Should be the same for you. Just follow it through. Click keep and you're good to go. Now, we're not good to go technically though because we still need to download minecraft forge do that so we go to files on minecraftforge.net come down here make sure 1.8 is nice and bold if it isn't simply click on it and you're good to go download recommended over here and click on installer by the way i don't know if i said this but forge is the second link in the description down below anyway you still have to wait six seconds over here if you have any issues same thing as adfly right click reload how to enable cookies on your browser google that go to the tutorials if it doesn't work something forge has to use to make a little bit of money back for all of the work they put in the forge just go ahead and click skip and then we're going to keep Forge right here. Now, if we minimize the browser, we've got two things here. One, Bacteria Mod, and two, Forge. Quick and easy stuff, right? Now, let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do that, simply right-click and open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. Go ahead and click on Install Client, and then click OK. It'll now go through down some stuff. Woohoo, as you can see, very quickly for me, successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK, and now I drag the Forge file over there. For Bacteria Mod, how are we going to install that? Well, it's pretty simple. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent, app data percent, percent app data percent, and hit enter. It will take you here where you then want to go into dot Minecraft and you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I don't have a mods folder. No, no, come on. You can do this. It's pretty simple. All you got to do is create one. Right click, new folder, and title it mods. M O D S, just like that, all lowercase. Open that newly created folder and drag the bacteria mod you downloaded into it. And now it's pretty simple. All we've got to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. So let me do that. Once the Minecraft launcher is open, all we've got to do is go to the profile we want to play right down here. In my case, that's going to be Nick's Games. Hit Edit Profile. Yours here is not going to probably say release 1.8-4. It's going to say use latest version, release 1.8.8, something like that. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on release 1.8-4. Click Save Profile, click Play, it'll download some things, do some stuff, and most importantly, launch Forge in Minecraft 1.8 with the Bacteria mod installed. Pretty awesome stuff, isn't it? I think so. I think so. So as it's loading up here, you should actually, it's probably already said it, but it should say Bacteria mod very, very quickly. If we go into mods here, there it is, the Bacteria mod. And uh, just for some even more proof, we can go ahead and jump into my creative testing world to see some uh, some bacteria mod stuff in action. Because why not, right? Why not see some bacteria mod stuff in action after we respawn? Because I died apparently. Uh, I also need to go into creative mode. Because why not? Why, why am I not in creative mode? Why am I not in creative mode? Let's be honest. Everyone, everyone, gameplay, game mode one. Nick, come on, get it together, man. But um, if we go in here now and search back. Bacteria, there it, uh, there it all is. A lot of bacteria stuff added by the bacteria mod. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel we have and make awesome videos every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games and I'm out guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Tell them that we've got how to install 1.8 Stalker Creepers. That's a video that uh, allows you to install the Stalker Creepers mod in 1.8. And on the other, we've got how to make a mod pack. You want to make your very own Minecraft mod pack? Well, that video shows you exactly how to do it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to Jimmy Hammond. I make awesome videos every single day of the week. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.